Hi, namaste. My name is Henry Jelicao. For more than 50 years now, I have been studying and practicing in various spiritual paths, namely Hinduism and Buddhism. And you can find many of those video of me talking about my experience within Hinduism and Buddhism, especially a movie that I've made about the process of Jnana Yoga, the Yoga of Knowledge, as taught by my main spiritual mentor, Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharishi. You can find that movie at a link under this video. Today I would like to share with you my experience with a spiritual path that I have been involved with for the last seven years. It's called Santo Daime. Daime is a Portuguese word that means God give me. Give me light. Give me love. Give me whatever I need to get my heart open closer to you. This is a path that uses the brew called ayahuasca to connect deeper with spirits. Ayahuasca is a brew that has been used for thousands of years by shaman in the Amazon for spiritual reason and for healing the body and the mind. The religion of Santo Daime started with this extraordinary man, Raimondo Irineo Serra. He was the grandson slave in Brazil. He was mostly uneducated and he was a rubber tapper. In 1914, he was introduced by two of his friends to the ayahuasca. And in one of the sessions of ayahuasca, the Virgin Mary appeared to him. And she asked him, what is your wish? And he said that he wanted to become a healer, someone that would help people. And in the 1930, he started officially the religion of Santo Daime with ceremonies involving first a few people and then it grew more and more. The religion of Santo Daime has brought thousands of people to Jesus Christ. It is a simple religion that first attracted mostly uneducated people, rubber tappers. Many of those people could hardly read or write, but those M's that Maestro Ireneo received and then his follower received from the astral world became the basis of this religion. And over his lifetime, he not only attracted thousands of people to love Jesus Christ, to take their spiritual life seriously, but he also helped cure hundreds, possibly thousands of people from alcoholism and many physical and mental diseases. At the time of his death, more than a thousand people showed up to say thank you to Maestre Irineo to have brought them in the presence of God, of Jesus Christ. After his death, there was many factions of Santo Daime that developed all over Brazil. And one of those factions was the faction of this man, Sebastian Mota de Malo, who would eventually be called Padrino Sebastian. Padrino Sebastian was also a very simple, mostly uneducated man, 
a rubber dapper, a canoe maker. And contrary to most of the Santo Daime religion offshoots in Brazil, he experimented with using magic mushrooms in his ceremonies, a practice that he eventually eliminated from his ceremonies and most important for this video, he introduced marijuana into the ceremonies of Santo Daime. He renamed marijuana and decided to call it Santa Maria. It was important to him that the marijuana was grown in his personal garden and was smoked in a very ceremonial way. And this introduction of marijuana in the Santo Daime religion has now spread all over the world. And I think that Padrino Sebastian made a big mistake by not keeping Santo Daime with one and only sacrament the daime, the ayahuasca. In 1970, Padrino Sebastian had no idea of the effect of marijuana on the health of people. You now just make a Google search for the negative effect of marijuana on the body and there are legions. It's really bad for your lungs. It has more tar than cigarettes. It is bad for concentration. It has a negative effect, not only on the lungs and the throat and many other organs of the body. And it is my experience that it has created a great addiction within the Santo Daime organization around the world. It is a fact that studies have shown that one out of ten people smoking marijuana become addicted. And if you start young, when you're a teenager, it goes from one out of six people become addicted to marijuana. And now within the Santo Daime religion, there's basically two camps. One that use only daime ayahuasca as a sacrament in the ceremonies and in their personal life. And there's people that use daime and use marijuana in the ceremony itself and in their personal life. And for newcomers into the Santo Daime religion, this can be very confusing. I remember the first time I went to a Santo Daime ceremony on the east coast of the United States. It was a simple house in the neighborhood. And when I arrived, I saw some of the people outside the house smoking marijuana before the ceremony. And then within the ceremony, I have seen people get out and take a couple puff of marijuana and then come back into the actual ceremony of Daimi. But what was most shocking to me was the leader of that ceremony, the so-called Padrino. Padrino means Godfather. I guess in my experience with Eastern religion, this would be the equivalent of Guru, Guide, Rinpoche, and so forth. After the ceremony, the so-called Padrino went into an adjacent room and a cloud of marijuana was just coming out of that room, especially when he opened the door. And I could see in his eyes were not the same as if he had used Daime alone. So I thought, oh, this is Santo Daime. 
you use daime and you also can smoke marijuana. As a newcomer, I thought, oh, that's what the religion is about. Ayahuasca and marijuana, both helpful for spiritual realization. And then I went to another meeting ceremony on the west coast of the United States where the leader told me that the Penrino that had come a month before had to be told not to smoke marijuana like he did excessively around the church because at that time marijuana was illegal in that state. They were afraid that the police would come and cause problem to the church. And that Padrino is still smoking a lot of marijuana. And then I went to another church on the west coast and was invited to a small work, a small ceremony of about 20 people. And there was no daime, there was no ayahuasca. They were just smoking marijuana and doing the singing, passing the bong around. And after four or five hours of smoking the bong, people were coughing. Their lungs were hurting. And I thought that was very strange. And then I was invited to a church in Montreal, Canada, where the leader of that church does not use marijuana. He made it clear to me that they are a church where they use only one sacrament, daime, and nothing else. Marijuana is prohibited. And to this day, this is the church that I attend on a regular basis. In my travel around the United States, I have met many people that are completely addicted to smoking marijuana. They think somehow that being stoned on marijuana is spiritual. I have also met parents that are very distraught because their children have become pothead. They smoke marijuana every day. I'm making this video because there's a problem in the Santo Daime religion right now. This addiction to marijuana. And I don't care if the so-called Padrino are part of the family of Padrino Sebastian or are married in the family of Padrino Sebastian. I think that something has to be done to address this issue. It has obviously created a lot of addictions and many of those people addicted think it's okay because A, the Padrino is smoking marijuana. I also saw the Padrinos using rapid tobacco that they blow in their nose. In one ceremony, I saw that Padrino do it dozens of times. So not only addicted to smoking marijuana, but addicted blowing tobacco up their nose. Some of those Padrinos are basically addict, and at least one of them has used his power to mesmerize young women. I really love the path of Santo Daime to get closer to God, to have mystical experiences of the divine, to receive instructions and hymns from the astral, to better one's life. But I think the marijuana is a very grave distraction. Some people look at Padrino Sebastian as some kind of bodhisattva, some kind of enlightened being that could not make any mistake while giving instructions 
on various subject matter and I say this is completely wrong. I personally think that the path of Santo Daime as taught by Maestro Irineo as he received it from the Virgin Mary is the way to go and that marijuana should be abandoned from the Santo Daime path. I have no problem stating that I think that Padrino Sebastian made an error of judgment, an error due to his ignorance of the effect of marijuana on the body and also the long-term consequences of having marijuana in the Santo Daime religion in the 80s, 90s, and now in the year 2022, it has created a lot of addicted people to that substance. And there's no need for it whatsoever. So I hope that this video will create some discussion that will get to the ears of the padrinos and some decision will be made to eliminate as much as possible marijuana from the religion of Santo Daime. Thank you very much.